I am Mark Regea from Microsoft Finance. PowerView is an exciting feature in Excel 13. We have two new free add-ons that really complement PowerView very well, Data Explorer and GeoFlow. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you how to get data from a public website with Data Explorer, show it in 2Ds with PowerView, and then in 3D with GeoFlow. OK, so we are in Excel, and we're going to go to our Data Explorer tab. So I click on Data Explorer, and I have a few options. I'm actually going to click on Online Search. When I click on Online Search, I get this menu on the right. And I've been traveling quite a bit lately, and, I'm, and I want to know a little bit about the US crime rate. So if I type US crime rate, I'm actually using Bing Search, and I'm seeing different tables from the internet in the Excel uh, native apps. So here, this table actually looks pretty good. It's from 2011, it's from Wikipedia, and it has state, city, population, and crime statistics. So when I click on this, I just click, it's going to bring it in the Excel environment, but it's not going to be a one-time import. It's going to be permanently connected to the Wikipedia source on the internet, and you see it here. Uh, the time and the day the, it was brought in. So tomorrow or the next day, I can hit refresh, and it will bring me the updated data. So this is important to know. You always have a connection to the source. It's not a one-time import. As with any data, you need to massage it and do things so you can put it in, in formats and with calculations that, that you want. So when you click on the top left, Filter and Shape, you're going to have the ability to shape the data and what's amazing here is that it's not a one-time thing. Anytime you're going to refresh this data from this location, it's also going to run all the changes you're going to make uh, at this point. So for example, I see here city as actually city and state, and I want to just have city. If I right-click and, and just hit split column, and I want to split it by delimiter, it's going to ask me, is that what you want? I'm going to click OK. And it's going to split that column with city on one and state on the other. I already have a state a column, so I can just hide this column. Again, all of these steps are going to be recorded here. And I'm basically building a macro that will run every time I refresh my data. So again, when I refresh, not only I bring the data, but I also have this step where I clean, so to speak, the data that will run automatically. One thing I notice is that when you have numbers on the left side of a, of a cell, they are in a text format. So we need to change that and convert it to numbers. So I'm going to highlight, hit Shift, and, and highlight the rightmost column. And I notice I have a few NAs. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to replace first the NAs uh, to, let's say, zeros. And so once we do that, we're going to be able to convert all of our text to numbers. Again, I'm going to click the entire column, the columns with, with the numbers that are in text format, right click, change type, and we're going to change it to numbers. And you're going to see the numbers going to the right side, and that tells me these are numbers. Again, you see all my steps are recorded here as a macro which will run every time I refresh the data. Now, I have some crime statistics. I like it to see per capita, basically, the crimes per population. So I'm going to right click, and I'm, I can actually insert a column, a custom column. And here I can add a formula. So I, I'm going to see, for example, robbery, insert, and I'm going to divide that by population, insert. And I'm going to multiply by 100 to see in percentage. When I click OK, my column is going to appear, and you can see here that they're in my micro. I'm actually, I can double click, and I can change the title to robbery per capita. So here I'm done. I basically shaped uh, and, and done all the things I wanted to do uh, in my data, which is uh, shown in those steps. I'm, I click Done, and my data is basically ready to, uh, to consume and be played with. So what I'm going to do first uh, is going to insert in Excel 2013 PowerView. So I'm going to have uh, the screen that is going to come up. 
and I'm going to be able to do things in 2Ds in PowerView using maps and having my data uh, interact with it. So now we have a default table in PowerView that we can delete and we can now play with our data. This is our data, so maybe I'm going to first pick city and I want to see maybe population by city. As you know, uh, in, in, in PowerView, you have the Bing Map capability. So if I click on Map, I'm going to be able to see the, all this data in a map. I'm going to make some space on the top, and I'm actually going to show the map in a big, bigger format. I can zoom in, and I can see basically the, the, the size of the, the city uh, and the population represented by the size of the bubbles. And we can put now robbery per capita. We're going to make this a bit smaller, the text size, to be able to fit all of that. And we're going to click city again. And this time we're going to see robbery per capita. And we're going to show it as a bar. So let's do it as a, as a column, clustered columns. We're going to then sort that data in, in descending order to see uh, where uh, the different cities stack. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller. And then we're going to sort this in descending order based on robbery per capita. So, for example, I was in Chicago last week, and I can just hit on the bubble here in Chicago, and I can see right away that Chicago has a fairly low robbery per capita, which is, uh, which is not the same as if I go to Newark. If I click on Newark, I'm going to see actually the, the bubble in the map being highlighted. So this is great, but you can do more with the data. And one other thing you can do is actually build a 3D uh, view with GeoFlow. So when you launch GeoFlow, you're going to see uh, the globe um, where you're going to be able to map all of this information. So if I hit city and state, I can map it. And you're going to see on the map uh, the dots showing the different city. And you can zoom in, which I'm doing right now, and we can uh, show it. Uh, we can do a lot of things. There's a lot of flexibility in showing the data in different ways. But now we can show our statistics. So let's look at robbery per capita. And this appears right on the map. We can put the map labels, and we can zoom at a very low level to see the different size. So we see right away Chicago as a fairly low robbery per capita compared to uh, other cities like Newark or, or here on the left side, Oakland. And if you had very uh, uh, local data, you could go at a very, very granular level and see things at a very, very detailed level. And you, you have different formats to show this data. You can show uh, the satellite views. You can show, uh, you have a lot of options. You can show more of a dark view that will enhance. And you can, you can add data if you want. If you want to add a chart uh, in the graph, that shows, you know, for example, the robbery per capita as a bar. You can see new work. You can click, and it's going to show you in the map where it is. As you can see, Excel keeps getting better. We had an amazing breakthrough with PowerView, and now we have Data Explorer and GeoFlow that are incredible add-on. You can start with a question. You can go on the web, get data, shape it, show it in 2D with PowerView and 3D with GeoFlow. I hope you check it out. Thank you for watching.